Is this release the final dagger for the Air Jordan 1? Is the hype finally over? I remember a couple years ago, people would have been going crazy for this release. When these first got announced, everybody was talking about them. I gotta have these in my collection. These are grails. Oh my gosh, I need these. And now look, these things are tanking. So over the past couple years, Jordan Brand introduced the Reimagined series, and we saw the Lost and Found ones, and then we saw the Bread ones with a Reimagined version in the patent leather, and then obviously they gave us the Suede for the Royal. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is... The DNA show. So before we start breaking down the shoe, going over all the styles, cuts, and materials, you know we gotta go over the history first. Back in 1985, we all remember the Air Jordan 1 hitting the scene, and one of the OG colorways, the Royal Air Jordan 1s. We also saw 15 other colorways that came out in that time, but the Royal 1 definitely was a shoe that stuck out because it wasn't a Bulls colorway, and a lot of people still loved it. That shoe went on to become one of the most iconic sneakers of all time when it comes to the model, and that colorway in particular, we have seen multiple iterations over the years with Jordan Brand retroing that shoe. So for example, in 2001, we saw the retro then, and that was a great time during that era. It's still considered to be some sneakerhead's favorite retro Jordan 1 Royal of all time. We then saw the retro in 2013, and I remember this time vividly when these came out. A lot of people was happy about this, but they said, you know what? It's just not like the old one pair, and I get it. Four years later, we then saw the Royal come out again in the newer retro OG cut, and a lot of people were loving these. Me personally, I was kind of on the fence, but I still got them for my collection. I still rocked them. I liked them. You know, they cool. Also in 2017, we saw the Flyknit Royal Air Jordan 1s, and we saw the Satin Air Jordan 1s, which came out in a limited pack, and honestly, those things are very, very expensive. And now in 2023, we have the Reimagined Suede Air Jordan 1s. We've never seen a Suede Air Jordan 1 Royal before, so it's nice to get this touch to the collection. And honestly, there's about, I think I would say 11 or 12 different Royal Air Jordan 1s that have come out over the years. Can you guys guys guessed them all let me know down below in the comment section if you want to see an explained video on just the royals trust me there's a lot of different versions so now that you guys know a little bit more about the shoe let's go ahead and take it to the studio so we can break these things down so as you can see right here, looking at the box, you got another switch up. Typically on these, you see a black and red box with the red Nike branding here on the side and on the top and everywhere around it. But now we have the Royal branding. And it's actually interesting because they did a metallic Royal on here. And you would assume by the box that these would be more of a patent leather type of vibe, but it's actually the suede. And honestly, I know it'd be a lot more expensive, but it'd be pretty dope if they added the suede elements to the blue branding on the box. Now looking at the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, black, royal blue, white, and retail on these is set to be 180 bucks. Now lifting off the lid of the box right here, you have your white paper, and then you have another set of white paper actually wrapping up the shoe. I like how they did this because this is a suede sneaker and they did want to damage the sneaker in transit. But again, once you unwrap it, it's kind of like no going back. But either way, then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. All right, first impression of this shoe when I saw it online. I immediately was like, I gotta have these in my collection. Then I saw the images floating around. I was like, they look kind of weird. The materials kind of look ashy, different stuff. But once I got these things in hand, these things are nice. And honestly, we'll talk about pricing later, but I'm surprised people are sleeping on these. But before we talk about resale value, hype, demand, fire, trash, all those things, you know we gotta go over the details of the shoe. Yo, just wanted to let you guys know real quick, I'm going to be giving away a pair of Black Cat Air Jordan 4s for Christmas. The drop will be on Black Friday, so make sure you guys stay tuned. If you want to enter to win, all the details will be down below in the description. I'll have a link for you. Get signed up, join the waitlist for early access. We're going to have a bunch of merch dropping as well, so stay tuned for that. Everything that you get will have entries on there. Trust me, it's going to be fun. And uh, I think this is a good way to represent Black Friday, right? Wouldn't you say? Go ahead and hit the link down below in the description. Let's get back to the video. So starting with the outsole right here, you have your classic Air Jordan 1 bottom with your retro vibe, all blue right here on the bottom, and then white on the midsole with the white stitch, and then going up to the upper, you have your Royal Air Jordan 1 color blocking. Now some people call this the Royal color blocking, some people call it the bread color blocking. Either way, it's the same color blocking in another OG model, which we talked about earlier when it comes to the history. I'm also going to be comparing these against the 2013 retro and the 2017 retro. I don't have the 2001 pair in my collection anymore, but I definitely wanted to go over these just showing you guys the difference in colors, shapes, and cuts of the shoes, and then obviously the switch up of materials. So as you can see with the three shoes lined up side by side, same color blocking, but definitely different color 
tones to the blue and then obviously materials and then the cut of the shoes is a little bit different as well. So when you look at the shoe right here, you have two different types of suede, a little bit of a hairier suede and a thinner suede right here. So the hairier suede is gonna be more on the royal area, so that's gonna be on the top of the toe, the swoosh on the side, and then the heel counter on the back end and around the collar at the top. And then you have a stamped Air Jordan Wings logo right here in black on the ankle. And then you have a thinner black buttery suede that's going all throughout the shoe around the toe and on the side panels and around the collar at the top end. These come equipped with a standard pair of all black flat laces, and then you have an additional pair of royal laces right here with the move to zero packaging and then you have an all black mesh tongue a black patch with the royal nike air branding on the top of the tongue and then on the inside of the sock liner all black black insole with the blue nike air now as you guys can see everything is pretty standard when it comes to this shoe obviously the major switch up is going to be the materials but i want to talk about the differences of materials and the cuts of the shoe and see what you guys think about these you can definitely see the shape and the difference between the 2023 pair and then the 2013 pair now when you put these side by side to the 2017 pair you can see that they're a lot more similar when it comes to these two shoes one thing that i did notice though on the back end of the royal suede pair they curve a little bit more when it comes to the top of the shoe sometimes we see air jordan ones that are cut and they go straight up or they curve just a little bit or they have a bigger curve as they go in and it's a lot more rounded on the cup around the heel area so when it comes to the suede pairs in particular it does look a little bit more rounded but don't get me wrong there's a lot of people that like this look and prefer this type of cut when it comes to the shoe so to me it's kind of like a double-edged sword you love it you hate it some people don't even care at all when it comes to that feature but one thing i was interested in was to see what people actually think about these. Do they think the shoe is fire or trash because the resale prices are not reflecting what I've been hearing from the streets. A lot of people, they, they like the shoe. They think it's really dope and they think it's a sleeper. And it's crazy to think that a reimagined Air Jordan 1 Royal colorway is a sleeper these days, which honestly, I'm not mad. They're going for just over retail. So on my Instagram, I always ask the question, is the shoe fire or trash? And then I'll post the results here on the channel. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here. 78% of the people chose fire and 22% of the people chose trash. Now, honestly, those results, yes, obviously, yes, more people like it than they don't, but those results are pretty low if you ask me. I feel like Maybe if this was a couple years ago, this would have easily been in the 96% or the 90% tile, you know, somewhere up there at least. But it's crazy to see that these are in the high 70%. I don't know what's going on with the game. You know what I'm saying? Everything's kind of upside down. You can explain it to me down below in the comment section. To me, again, this is a great cop, a great addition to the collection. Shout out to the homies that untied. I was out there, they had them. I was like, I gotta grab these. Yo, just wanted to let you guys know we have a bunch of fun giveaways going on this month and next month, especially for Christmas time. So if you guys want to be inside of the Six Figure Sneakerhead Academy, make sure you guys hit the link down below in the description. We have a full eight week program that takes you through everything that you need to know. We have monthly live meetups where we go over accountability and helping each other grow when it comes to the collections, real estate invested, mindset, you name it. However I can help, I'm here for you. You can directly message me within the group and in the community. And you can also meet with other like-minded individuals for network helping trading buying selling you name it it's all on the inside so if you guys are interested hit the link down below in the description I would love to have you guys in there we got a lot of great stuff coming trust me when I tell you we give away shoes every single month but there's a lot of goodies coming this Christmas you know what I'm saying it's the giving season go ahead and join I'll see you guys in there I would never let you down and send my DNA hey, hey, The hey, only choice I like to make what I'ma wear today one of those, one I would never let you down and send my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'ma wear today I was made for it, it's in the DNA